So we're away here in the semi-finals in Espino, Portugal. It is Switzerland in the black crop tops. Yeah. Tanya Hubley and Nina Bronner. This match should have fireworks if all the other matches these teams have played is anything to go by. So many. It's a little calmer under the pressure. Oh, and that's another good serve. So Switzerland have opened the account with some but venom. When she gets a transition play, she's just as consistent to finish it off. Spain looking for a line block early. Yes! And can't quite get a perfect high line. Maybe thinking that if they can really tire out in her offense, that might take a bit of a sting away from her, perhaps running into block. Another good float serve. Well handled this time. Lower faster set. Just chiseling it nicely down the line, Moreno. That's how you decide to attack. Spain definitely going after the Swiss blocker and she's delivering. And that's why it's always interesting as well, Kerry, because previous matches, previous tournaments, all available to them. And well, the last few matches, the Swiss blocker has been... It's the blocking tax. They're always doing too much work compared to defenders. <laughs> Deep sand. It's a fantastic point, Kerry. It is the deepest sand in the world on the Volleyball World Beach Pro Tour. Yay! And well, not letting the sand, not being covered this time from Spain. Well, Switzerland starting to pull away to a little bit of a lead. Still plenty of game time in the first set. There for the Spanish team, perhaps, you know, being in a semi-final. It's a big deal for them. Some great results in the lead up. But this is a big one, Elite 16. Well, that's a fantastic set and an even better swing. ubilee has got such a good angle when she uses her full height. Six foot three and then you... Switzerland just steadying the ship now. Still down by three. Here's a chance now for Spain. Oh, and just when you think Spain are going to get one of those points back, Hubley jumps into the angle. Something the Swiss would have been talking about. They know that Moreno is going to get plenty of digs. She's leading the dig stats for the entire tournament at the moment. Great point, Kerry. It's not if she gets a dig, it's when, and how do we stop her in transition? Well, they're going to try and stop her on side out as well. And that's a really good, well-weighted read. Touched a little bit of the fingernail of the block, so it had to come over. Another good high line play. The skills on display, nothing short of outrageous, including the knuckle rainbow. By the partner being a left-hander, but then Alvarez being able to watch that ball over her head and then still trying to get the point with it. Yeah, quite awkward. That ball was dropping. Well handled Switzerland. Moreno under pressure. Can't get the ball down. It's an extraordinary dig. Control it on her side, but that's got to hurt Moreno. Even though they won the point, she's going to remember that one. Well, what can Spain do here? They need to start getting those passes in that front half of the court because Switzerland are just ready to pounce in defence if they're not. And the rainbow shots. That was kind of a, a punch pokey. Alvarez trying to get a, a fair bit. Well, it is the deepest sand in the world and there's no wind in the mornings, but the wind does kick up in the afternoons. Passing is always important for beach volleyball, but in this deep sand, it is crucial. If the passes aren't there, Kerry, the teams are in trouble. Spanish ladies are really feeling it now. They are in trouble. Marino's just not siding out like she has been. Uh, not so good with her soccer skills. A little bit of a tight pass, but the bump set is just extraordinary, as always. What a wonderful picture of just how venomous that float serve is. Moving left to right, right to left. And that has created another transitional opportunity for Switzerland. Huge rally happening on centre court. Finished with a perfect high line. Alvarez was just all over everything. If she wasn't touching a block, she was getting a couple of little digs. And Another good float serve, but Moreno was starting to read that serve very well. And even though it's a monster block to finish the set. The first one is done. The slates are back to zero and anything can happen. And like we've talked about, there have been so many three-set matches. And 
you'd have to expect that because this is the cream of the tro crop, the best players not often we get, burning. Not often it's called the commentator's blessing. We very rarely do that. Usually we muck things up for people. But that's okay. It's a good start. Good start. Well, that's the first real error we've seen from Brunner. And she'll have to, well, have a little think about that as her partner has to swing far off the net. And Turn any side out into an attackable ball, even on a bad pass, if you do a great set. And that's definitely gone out as a challenge, I think. But always worth arguing, just for next time, just in case. And maybe for a little bit of a timeout. Absolutely. Brunner is there. Stock standard dig and delivers down the middle. Well, there are a few difficulties when you do transition from a court that you haven't played on to a big centre court. And someone who's very comfortable on all centre courts is Nina Brunner. Well, centre court might be troubling Spain a little bit, but I dare say it's the two extra games in the heavy sand that might be having an effect in this deep... Maybe that's what Moreno can do with her side out. It's a perfect serve. It definitely troubles the pass. Takes away the vision of Brunner. Big chance now for Spain to level things up on the end switch. And they do with a high line. Ball in hand. The 22-year-old from Madrid. Looking to just find a way through this Swiss pass somehow. It's a wide set and it's a perfect block. The drift into the line was timed to perfection. And, that's a and well, anybody out here in an Elite 16 main, 16 main draw, let alone a semi-final, you know if they make it look it easy, it absolutely is not. The she was the serving target early. She's still carrying a lot of the physical load, having to serve and block. Spain hanging tough. And that's a perfect late peel. Freaking Brunner into playing the short shot and chiseling it underneath the block. That's a big point for Spain. And coming down herself, so she gets a lot of touches just around the block. And there is that course correction from the high line error just moments ago. Brunner serving from a very difficult part of the court on that left side. Alvarez has a think about the two ball. And Moreno delivers with the high line. Pass, not quite where Moreno wanted it. Puts them under pressure. And he finds a way. That's a great pass and it's a great swing. It's always nice to have a partner who can do that. Well, that's just an unbelievably accurate serve down the line. It still had a lot of pace and a lot of movement. Well, on the one side, you've got Brunner who can just pass the ball perfectly every time. And then she goes back to serve. And over the years, over the decades, famous beach volleyball location that is a spinno. Perfect high line. Well, Switzerland, as they did in the first set, they haven't done much wrong, but they find themselves in a real arm wrestle now. Where the court is. Again, another wonderful pass from Switzerland. It's a tight set, though, and the joust is won. It'll be all over. So... It always looks impressive when little players get the joust, but what a dig. Can't quite put it away. Alvarez with a dig of her own. Loops it perfectly the back two metres. Spain hanging tough. Before we are done, can Spain take us to a third set? Not if Brunner has anything to say with it. What a dig. And the cut shot is perfect. Professional is the perfect description of this team, Kerry. And, well, speaking of perfection, Spain desperate for a defensive point here. Brunner with the perfect pass. Delivers with the angle past the cross block. Two match points. When they have had to receive at Spain and they must side out here to stay alive. Oh, that's huge. What a response. Big swing down the line, Moreno. Big point now for Switzerland. Still match point. One side out required, and there it is. It's gone long. Heartbreak for Spain. They've come all the way from the qualifier. They've had to win every single game. Six games in a row.